What's up guys, I'm Charles and you are watching Inform Overload. Sit back and prepare to be informed. Leg out. A woman in Perth, Western Australia, has allegedly been a victim of a racist attack. The woman was apparently assaulted with a beer bottle and had her headscarf torn off in an unprovoked attack outside of a shopping centre in South Perth. The woman, who has chosen to remain unnamed, is now okay, but says she is quite rattled by the event. When explaining exactly what happened, she says, I was walking into Coles, which is an Australian supermarket, at around 8.30, when a man yelled out, Merry Christmas. I turned around and said, Happy holidays to you. To which he replied, No, Merry Christmas. So I said, Okay. At which point he became aggressive and called me a f***ing Muslim. F so I turned and began to leave the situation when suddenly he threw the bottle at me and it smashed on my shoulder and neck. A scuffle then ensued in which a lady claims to have lost her headscarf which was apparently dumped near the shopping complex. As she phoned the police, screaming down the phone, the man then attacked her by throwing rocks and sticks at her. Like some sort of caveman. She returned to the shopping centre to wait for police who never appeared. Later in the day, she made a phone call to the police again, only to be told that there was no actual log of her emergency call earlier in the day. She was also told officers were busy and would attend to her the next morning. Not until 1am did the police arrive at her property to take a statement. Coburn police are investigating the incident and appealing for any witnesses to step forward. As of yet, no CCTV footage of the event has been released, despite a friend of the woman requesting it from the building in which it took place. Police are still looking for a suspect who is described as being 25 to 35 years old, light skinned, of slight build and wearing blue shorts and a white shirt. If what this lady has said is true, it is yet another example of tensions between different cultures reaching boiling point and people wrongly acting on feelings of hate and racism. Hopefully, investigations are conclusive and a suspect can be reprimanded and punished. This follows in the footsteps of several other racially provoked attacks around the world, including shocking footage of a woman being kicked down the stairs at a train station in Germany and a woman being dragged by a hijab in East London. However, it also follows in the footsteps of several fake racially motivated attacks, with several people across America claiming to be the victims of attacks which are later proved to be hoaxes. What this does is create a situation in which people who have serious crimes to report are doubted and not taken as seriously as they ought to, making it difficult for authorities to investigate events that actually take place and for others who hear these stories to find them believable. Those who create these fake scenarios are not only endangering themselves, but the lives of all others who are or who have been victims in the past. Hopefully this is not the case in this situation. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, this has been Inform Overload and I will see you in the next video.